came up, you had a cigarette in your hand. Do you want to get the kingdom of heaven? Hey, can you read, can you read one scripture for the sister across the street? Stay down for Go ahead, go ahead. No, no, come here. No, no, no. I understand that, sis, but that's. Yeah, I didn't know. I didn't know. But you have to let your your light shine first. If you smoking, that's sin, according to the Bible. That's right. Let Let me prove that to you, according to the scripture, because that's what's gonna get out. That's gonna get us out of the situation that we're in. Right, because you're not, you're not supposed to smoke, but you have to get right in order to get your son right, because you got to teach your sons these laws. You got to teach your son this Bible. Right. Let me let me get this law. Let me get this law. Well, let, let, let me read, let me read something to you. First Corinthians chapter three and verse sixteen. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God? So your body is the temple of God. Right. God can't dwell in you if you're defiling it. If you're putting smoke in your body, you, you're, you're killing yourself. Read on. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? The Spirit can't dwell in you because you're defiling it. You're, 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 you're polluting it. Right. You're, he, can't, he won't dwell in you because you're going against what he say do. Right. That's that's why our people when, when we do when we commit sin like eat pork, eat abominable things. Well, I understand that. Okay. But why have why have that happened to you? Give me Jeremiah five and twenty five. Why why has that happened to you, sis? Hold on, listen to this, sis. Jeremiah chapter 5 and verse 25. Your iniquities have turned away these things. Wait a minute. The Bible says your iniquities. Iniquity means wickedness. Right. That means sin. Right. Read that part. Read that again. Your iniquities have turned away these things. What things has your iniquities turned? And your sins have withholding good things from you. Your sins have withholding good things from you. Right. If you are in the midst of wickedness, the Most High, He don't hear your prayers. Right. So you can pray all you want. I hear you saying your son, but you gotta, you gotta get yourself together first. Right. Watch this. I'm good. Jeremiah chapter 5 and verse 22. Fear ye not me, saith the Lord. Will ye not tremble at my presence? which have placed the sand for the bound by the sea by a perpetual decree that it that it cannot pass it so do you not fear the most high god do you not fear god verse 23 but this people have a revolting and a rebellious heart they are revolted and gone neither say they in their heart let us now fear the lord our god that giveth rain both the former and the latter in his season. He reserve it unto as the appointed weeks of the harvest. So sis, 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 can you step back a little bit? But do you not fear God? Do you not fear what he can do to you? Right, bring it up. Do you not fear it? Get what, get what fear is. Psalms 119 and 120. Do you not fear God? Your iniquities has turned bad things to you. Right. You have to get yourself together before you can get your son together. Right. You have to understand what this Bible is talking about. That's right. That's right. And then you could you could teach him you could teach him good things right. from this Bible. Right. Our people always say that they're good, but they are not good. Right. They are not good according to this Bible. Right. That's why we're in the in the ghettos. That's why we're the last high first fire. That's, right. that's why we're killing our babies. Right. That's why we're doing everything that's against this Bible. Because right. we're not opening it up and reading. Right. Read that. Psalms chapter 119 and verse 120. My flesh trembleth for fear of thee, and I am afraid of thy judgments. You have to be afraid of God's judgments. That's right. Because you said that you love God, but you not you don't fear God. How can you love God but don't fear him? Right. Right. How do, what does it mean to love God? 
How do you love God? You love who? But that's what I'm saying. You have to work out your own salvation. Give me Philippians 2 and 12. Hold, hold that. Give me Philippians 2 and 12. You have to work out your own salvation. Bring him over here. We would love to talk to him. Bring him over here. We would love to talk to him. But watch this. Philippians chapter 2 and verse 12. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation. So you have to work out your own salvation. You can't get somebody else right if you're not right. Right. You understand? You know it. Right. Because they're not, they're not, they're not opening this book and read. This is the bread of life right here. This is what we need to do every day. Right. If you eat three times a day and you read your Bible maybe, maybe once, that's not enough. That's not enough. Give, give me uh, Proverbs 16 and 2. Proverbs 16 and 2. Proverbs chapter 16 and verse 2. All the ways of a man are clean in his own eyes. So you think that you're good. You think that your ways are clean. But, but what does the Bible say? Read on. But the Lord weigheth the spirits. Commit, commit thy works unto the Lord, and thy thoughts shall be established. So the Most High, he, he look at your spirit. That's right. He look at how much you apply his commandments. Because our people think that the law is done away with. Right. That we don't have to keep the commandments. That's right. But guess what? Give me Joshua 1 and 8. Right. Joshua 1 and 8. This is the book of the law. If, we, if the commandments are done away with, we might as well close the Bible and, not, and live a lawless life. No, I'm not. I hear what you're saying, sis, but I know that the solution, your answer is in this Bible. That's right. That is what your answer is. You need to just humble down and listen to what is coming out of this Bible. You have to humble down and say... Joshua, chapter 1 and verse 8. The book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. Hey, so you hear that, sis? You good, you good. We had the to turn it down a little bit. Read, read, that, read that part again. Joshua, chapter 1 and verse 8. The book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. So if you say... If you say anything to anybody, it needs to be according to the scripture. That's right. Because your own opinion is not is not going to get you. It's not going. It's not a solution. Right. How do you get How do you, how do you get understanding? That's about it. Give me that in uh, Psalms. Oh, man. 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 Have her come over here. Have her come over here. Can you come around, sis? Sis, can you come around to the front? Let me show you how you get understanding. Watch this. <laughs> Psalms chapter 111 and verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Read on. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. So you must be doing, you must be keeping these commandments. You must be doing what this Bible say do. That's right. That's the problem that our people, that, that's, that's the, the, the X factor in the whole equation of, of everything that's going on today. Right. They don't, they don't apply the laws of God. Right. That's right. They honor God with their lips, but their heart is far from God. Right. right. They, their heart is far from God. What is the heart according to the Bible? Because our people think that it's, 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 our, it's our, our heart our, in our chest. Right. But that's not what the Bible's talking about. Mark chapter 7 and verse 20. And he said, that which cometh out of the man, that defileth the man. For from within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts. So can your heart think? It's talking about the mind. That's right. Out of the mind of men, proceed evil thoughts. It's an evil thought to think that you could give your, your son a solution when you don't know the scriptures. You, you, you hear that, sis? It's an evil thought to think that 
that if you don't open this, up this Bible and give your son a solution from this Bible, the answer from this Bible, that's an evil thought. Read on. Adulteries, fornications, murders, thefts, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, lasciviousness, and evil eye, blasphemy, pride, foolishness. These are just things that come out of the out of the heart, meaning the mind. Yeah, I'm just showing you that when the Bible says the heart, he's talking about your mind. Right. Understand? It, it, this is just talking about he's talking about your mind. But you have to get yourself together before you can get your son together. You have you have to you have to you have to start keeping God's commandments. Are you intoxicated, sis? Do you drink? Okay. You ain't been drinking yet. Uh -huh. Do you get drunk? Okay. 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 But understand something. Are you and your son going to get going to go to get the kingdom of heaven together? Are you going to go into heaven together or are you going to go separate? You going together? You're not going to go if you're not keeping the commandments. That's right. Let, let's get the kingdom of heaven. What what you must do in order to get the kingdom of heaven? How do you get to the kingdom of heaven? Say again. Do the right thing. Is that according to the scriptures? Well, let's see. Let's see. Matthew chapter 19 and verse 16. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good things shall I do that I may have eternal life? So there was a man who came up to Christ and he asked him, What good things should he do that he may have eternal life? And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? Christ said, Why call me good? There is none good but one. He gave reverence to the Father. That is God. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. Do what? Keep the commandments. Since you have to keep the commandments. That's right. That's right. You have to repent and turn from your wicked ways. Right. You have to have faith in Christ. That's right. You cannot get the kingdom of heaven if you don't do those things. Right. That's right. You cannot get the kingdom of heaven. That is not scriptural. Give me uh, Matthew 6 and 20, 6 and 33. Matthew 6 and 33. Sis, you stepping on our side, sis. You have you to back step back to our sis. Okay. Matthew chapter 6 and verse 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of God. You hear that, sis? Seek ye first the kingdom of God. And his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. What does righteousness mean according to the Bible? Let's let's see what the Bible says. We're not gonna we're gonna we're not gonna use our own words. Okay, okay, okay. Understood, understood. But let's get it from the Bible. Bring it out. Bring it out. Deuteronomy chapter six and verse twenty-five. And it shall be our righteousness if we observe to do all these commandments before the Lord our God, as He hath commanded us. So it should be our righteousness to keep to keep these commandments of God. Right. The law of the Bible is keeping the law of the Bible is righteous. Right. right. That's what's righteous. When you missing the part where it said keep the commandments, you have to keep the commandments. What are some commandments? I gave you one earlier about the smoking. We're not supposed to do that. That's against the Bible. Right. Yeah. Do you understand that you you have as a woman you have to wear you have to wear a dress? Bring it out. That's right. Let's get it from the scripture. I'm not going to use my word. I'm going to use the Bible. Deuteronomy. I'm going to read it to you. Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Because this is what God said. Okay. Hey. You got to make haste. Right. Watch this. Watch this, sis. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. Bring it out. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So what does a woman wear? Ma'am. 
Sister, sister, listen. Listen, I'm giving you the medicine right now, sis. I'm giving you the medicine. What does a woman wear that pertains to a man? Bring it out! So, so say you went to a restaurant, right? And you wanted to go to the bathroom. How do you know which one you supposed to go in? Right. Well, how do you know the, from the sign on on the door? The woman has a dress on, right? That's, That's right. right. So I'm gonna read this part again. I'm gonna read it again. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse five: The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So what are some woman things that when men are not supposed to wear? Bring it up. That's fine. You know, you didn't know about this law, but now you know this law. So now you must keep it because you are you are a a, a, a child of God. You are you are from one of these tribes right here. That's right. You are Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Right. Right. That's what God told his kids, his children to do. He told his women to wear to wear a dress. Yes, ma'am. There's a judgment if you don't do that. That's right. Give me that. Give me that in uh, Zephaniah uh, one and eight. Give me that in Zephaniah 1 and 8. Sis, we coming out the Bible. This is what God said. Zephaniah 1 and 8. There's a judgment for women wearing pants. Bring it out. Zephaniah chapter 1 and verse 8. And this shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice. That's when Christ returned. If you have on those pants, sister. In the day of the Lord's sacrifice, that I will punish the princes and the king's children, and all such are clothed with strange apparel. So that's strange apparel to the Most High God. That's right. For you Israelite women, if you have on pants on when the Most High return, you're going to get put to death. Right. You're going to get put to death. That's a law. I'm Elton Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets out. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.